I guess it's on no X I guess on I'm here to give you guys my my thoughts and my opinions on the voting on the voting for the anime anime awards on Crunchyroll or I will say the Crunchyroll anime awards. Uh, I have not seen I have not heard if Funimation was was going to do this do this this year. I, I don't know. I I'm not really sure. sure. Um, I have not heard anything if um, Funimation is really actually really actually is going to select who who they want to select for for their anime awards anime awards. So so yeah. If you guys don't know, Crunchyroll Crunchyroll does this every single year. Right around February or something like that. Um, yeah, that's basically what they just do and, and stuff. So it's it's basically an annual uh, one year or one year event thing. I can't remember when they started the 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 Crunchyroll's. I think they started like I think it was like five years ago. This is our sixth year or something. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. It was. Let's go ahead and look at the list. The uh, list of. Uh, uh, list of the list of TV anime shows uh, have uh, have won um won awards so uh, so yeah but uh, yeah I just want to give out my opinions like on here but some of these awards but the, I definitely do want to talk about the anime of the year award which I will get into that which which I will get into that later or I just may jump in jump in just jump in and just and just talk about it and, and stuff like that so so yeah uh anyways so let's start let's start with the um. <sighs> Let's start with the uh, the best character design. Okay, so the best character design was won by Tola Bone Bone ha Hanako Ken Hanako Ken. Uh, I don't know. I I think it's like there's some kind of dude. He comes from, from out of the toilet or something like that or something. I I don't know. I, I have never heard of this anime. I never heard of this anime. I th I'm assuming this anime must be a shonen. I, that's what what I think. Um, also, there's also a list of uh, other ones that says "Keep your hands off." Uh, I, 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 so, so ten, great pretender, brand new animal, tower of god, and Yashimi, Yashimi, the princess, the princess half demon. Which no, I just want to say this. Okay, to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of the Yashihama, Yashihama princess half demon. I'm not a fan of it because the art style. It's just not that great. I'm, I'm serious. It's just not that great. Uh, I just don't. I, I don't know who what what studio was doing this anime. I think it was Studio Sunrise was doing this anime or something like that. That's just over on my opinion. And yeah, the, I, I they could have they could have they could just improve some things, you know, on the anime on the anime. Just make it look like it's the modern style of the anime that looks like from Inuyasha and stuff like that. And you know, it's just that it, it just didn't. It just was not in my favor to watch the anime, but I expected that the anime to come with good, um, good graphics and stuff like that. But it just, it just, it just wasn't there. But like I said, for the the winner was was um, was Toilet Bon uh, Hanako Ken. So so yeah, they won. They won. They won the very first award. Okay, the best animation. The best animation. Uh, this is just this is just going my opinion. There's like. There was like, I am so shocked and surprised that Princess Connect Redive and B Stars did not win the best anime, the the best animation. But however, keep your hands off of Yuzako Khan, Ryasu Khan. I mean, they they won it. I mean, it's it's fair that they won. Uh, you know, that's just that's just over in my opinion. But look at look at Princess Connect. Princess Connect and Redive. They have some beautiful, beautiful animation, and they really, really did. And it's just like, it's just like, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing that keep your hands off. I'm just gonna call it keep your hands off. Okay, that's what I'm just gonna call it. But I'm mean, like the the animation style of keep your hands off. It looks pretty good. It looks it looks very good. But I still believe and I still believe and I still think. That Princess Connect or B Stars should have won this award. I, I think they should have. They should have won. Uh, Great Pretender. Um, not a big fan of it. God of High School. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. God of High School was just not. Just was not a very good, very good anime in my opinion. That's just from what I've heard and stuff like that. Because I've heard they 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 um uh, they didn't follow the storyline of the anime. Uh, I mean of the webtoon. That's from what I what I've heard. So so yeah. Okay, this is also, I'm also kind of, 
Okay, so the next one is called the best fight scene. This is something I definitely do agree with. I, I definitely do agree with. Definitely do agree with. So My Hero Academia season four won that won that award. Okay, so they they did they won that award, but they also won an award for best VA performance English performance English, which they did a really great job. I th I think they really did it. I have not seen all of uh, all of um, My Hero Academia. I have not, but yeah good job for high, high school i mean good job for uh, my hero academia i'm glad they won i'm glad they did that's something that's something that was very very good and uh it, it was it was it was point out the uh the fight between deca not 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 deca deku and overhaul in season four and uh there was also great mentions also as well too i'm even shocked to surprise that jisa kaisen did not win this war because they have they have much better graphics than then um, they have much better graphics than My Hero Academia. That's just over my opinion. My neck hurt me, so I just got my just put my hoodie on. Uh, so yeah, I was I was surprised Jesse Kaisen didn't win. I, I'm serious. And one thing I'm also disappointed is that I think they should have gave this award to Sword Alliance. I'm a big Sword Alliance fan. Th that's just my opinion. Their animation stepped up big time. I mean, big big time. The animation looks looks more more beautiful than I have ever seen. I have ever seen. It's like wow, this animation looks absolutely just beautiful. It's just, it's like it's very breathtaking, and I just love it. And I just love it. It's just like the the underworld, the underworld part two and part one, and also season three, authorization and stuff like that. But which I don't understand. How come? Why did why would they want to split the cores up the of the uh, of the Sora line underworld? They could have just they could have just made like you know more episodes like. With with that, it's just like splitting up. I'm not a big fan of like splitting cores together, splitting uh, uh, splitting cores together. I just don't like that. I mean, splitting cores, it just I don't know. That's just something. That's just that's just something on me. But um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So best couple. This right here. This is the best couple. This is the best couple. I definitely do agree with this. Definitely, definitely do agree with this. Over the moon for you, which I can't pronounce the name. I've told. Tanya Kawa, Tanya Kawa, over the moon for you. Definitely, definitely a recommended good pick from from these guys and from these guys. They should be very proud of themselves to get in like the best, the best couple and stuff like that. And they also, they also have like um, Kadisam Love's War. I was shocked that Kadisam did not win this award. I, I'm serious. They, I was like really shocked they did not win this. Like, wow, what in the world really is going on? And also, I was also pretty shocked also as well too. Like. Win a girlfriend, they did not win a reward at all. It's just like, I was going like, man, the, I was going like, are you serious right now? I'm like, I'm like, the the ship between uh, Chizuru and um, whatever the main most character's name, uh, I don't know, I haven't read the manga or anything like that. Uh, win a girlfriend, I mean, that that I think Win, win a girlfriend should should have stole the show. I, I think they should because I mean. The, the relationship that, that he had with the main female protagonist and all the main male protagonists, they seem to be like getting along with very very well with each other. I, I definitely do believe, I definitely do believe, I think they, they deserve to win that award. That's just my opinion, but I still love, I still love, um, I still love this also as well too. I mean, you know, over the moon for you. Yeah, I still, I still love it. They make a very good couple. It's just absolutely just beautiful. It's just, I mean, like when you're looking at the picture, the girl with the pink hair, I mean, what does that tell you? I mean, she's not a yandere. She's not. She's not that. But I mean, she's, but she is free and open. You know, to do do whatever they do, whatever they want, because they are a married couple, which they got officially married because they went to some kind of government office or something like that. And so the that's what they make basically. I want to rewatch the anime all over again. But yeah, I highly recommend you guys go watch the anime. I definitely do, do think you guys will love that one. Uh, also B stars. I think B stars should have won this award also as well too. I think they should have. But yeah, it was definitely definitely very, very good. I'm I'm surprised B stars was B stars was almost in every single category and stuff like that. And so yeah. Okay, uh, best performance by voice actress Japanese. Japanese. Okay, they won. They won. They won the best VA performance. Uh, what's that? Say? Japanese and best fantasy. They won. They won for best fantasy. Yes, 
they did a really good job. They really did a really good job on the part one season two. I'm serious. They did a such phenomenal job. I, they really actually did. Um, here's also the runners, uh, runners up. Okay, Wave, Listen to Me, Bullet Bound, Hadiko, Juicy Kaisen, Keep Your Hands Off, I, I to go. I, I'm just going to say Keep Your Hands Off, Keep Your Hands Off, The Million, The Millionaire Detective, Balance, Balance Unlimited. I, I would expect that Juicy Kaisen was, uh, I, I would expect that Juicy Kaisen were, were to win the best performance of, of by a voice actor. But I, I've heard a lot of good things about Jesse Kaisen. I'm just not so sure if I'm gonna be able to watch the anime or not because because I'm just not really into demons animes demon animes really all that much. I'm just not really into that kind of stuff. It's just it's just not for me, you know. Not no offense, it's just not for me. Okay, hold on just a second here, guys. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, anyways, okay. Um, best performance by actor by voice actor in English. Like I said, for My Hero Academia, they really did. They really did such a great job. They deserve to win the second award. And yeah, Evan, like especially the last past couple of years or so, they've been winning a lot of awards for the last past couple of years ago. Because because like if you guys don't remember, like um, My Hero Academia was was almost every single category. And stuff like that. They dominated. They, uh, I remember one year they they dominated the Crunchy Awards. Like, wow! And a lot of people were just very upset about that, and really were, and they they just didn't. They just did not understand what the what in the world they're thinking, and stuff. So so yeah. Um, Fate Grand Order, Absolute Demonic Front, Babylonian Great Pretender, Tower of God, Beast Stars, Rezero Start in Another World, Season Two. Season Two. Um, I would say I would say like best English the best English I would say re zero I would say re zero but you know that's fine uh, I was hoping for Tower of God to to win like that I was I really was I was really hoping that Tower of God would really win and stuff you know I was surprised um, Great Pretender didn't win but uh, yeah but uh, you know. Okay, so here is uh, Best Girl. Best Girl, yes. This is something I definitely do agree with, which I have not seen Kagisama Love is War. I really want to watch that series. I really do. I really want to get into watching that series. I really, really do. I want to watch the anime so, so badly. I'm serious. I want to watch it so, so badly. and I, Because I've just been hearing a lot of good things about Kagisama Love is War. It's just, I think A1 Pictures is the one who made that anime. I think so. I'm not really 100% for sure. They also want best comedy also as well too. That's something I definitely agree with also as well too because because the comedy is just like so real, so real. I got I got to watch the anime. I got to watch the anime, and uh, if I can get a chance to watch it, if I can get a chance to watch it, I definitely will want to watch it. So yeah, um, keep your hands off, keep your hands off. Um, rent a girlfriend. Don't 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 yeah, uh, I'm surprised that 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 one girl, what's her name? Uh, no, 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 I, no, I, no, I. Um, she's a very big, thick woman. No offense, no offense, but uh, yeah, she's. I'm surprised they didn't choose. They didn't choose her, and because I, I I haven't seen the anime, but it's just not for me. Uh, My life as a villain, is all around Lisa Doom. That's something I've just. Kind of like, you know, like, like I mean, read a girlfriend, read a girlfriend. Like seriously, how come, how come read a girlfriend did not win an award? Like, I mean, I, I don't know if they have or not. I I can't remember. But like, like read a girlfriend. What about Chizuru? Chizuru, come on, come on, you guys. Like seriously, I mean, she she's she's absolutely best girl in the in in the anime. In in read a girlfriend, she really actually yeah, is. I'm like, how can somebody just like. Not choose her. I'm mean, like seriously. I mean, she's she's best girl. I mean, she really is. But I mean, I guess I'm okay with Kagisama. You know, being best girl, and you know, I <laughs> think are my feelings. I mean, uh, whatever. Uh, best boy Haiku. Haiku is the one who got uh got best boy. Yeah, they they got best boy, and um, I, I'm glad they did. I'm not a big fan of Haiku. I'm not really a big fan of it. 
uh, maybe I might, maybe I might watch it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not really keen on no, just like watching Haiku really, really all that much and, and stuff. I know somebody's really big fan of watching it. That's basically um, Memory and K because I, I know he loves the anime and stuff like that. I know him. I know, I know that he loves it. Uh, the reason I mention his name because you know, I, me and him, we just don't get along too very well, and we're not we're not friends or anything like that. But you know, it's just. I think I want to mention his name. Okay, so uh, best best boy was uh Dora Hendo, Juice Kaisen, Tower of God, B Stars. I'm surprised Tower of God uh uh Kuhn did not get selected. And I mean, like in B Stars also well too. And for what I've heard, the misfits the misfits of the Demon King Academy Academy did not win. So yeah, so yeah. Okay, so here's this is something I definitely do agree on. Definitely do agree on. Uh, keep your hands, keep your hands off, keep your hands off. Uh, they best, they won best animation, which I already, which I've already done that. Which I, yeah, I think, yeah, I did. It was, they won best animation, they won best director. That's something I definitely agree with because the director did this such a phenomenal job in this anime. Maybe I might, maybe I might watch it, you know, to see what is it like and stuff like that. But I've I've heard a lot of good things about the anime because I've from what I've heard so so yeah I I may check it out I may check it out and I'm not I'm not gonna make any promises but yeah I may, I may check it out so I may check it out uh there is also runner up says Deccan Dances uh Jusu Kaisen uh Great Pretender Kagasawa's Love of War season two and Tower of God uh I, I think Tower of God should have won or Kagasawa should have won that's just over my opinion I I think uh Jason Kaisen should have should have won. That's just over my opinion. I think they should have. I think they just should have won. Uh, best score. Oh my goodness. Best score. Oh my goodness. I don't know what best score really actually means. I think that means like the higher percentage of the score. Like like when Tower Guy came out, a lot of people wanted to watch this anime. This anime was very very popular. Uh, back, uh, I think it was 2020. When I think it came out in 2020 last year. I think it did. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Or was it 2019? Either was either was 2019 or 2020. I'm not really so sure. Uh, I have not seen Tower of God yet. I've seen some of it, but not really a whole lot. But I've already seen the the ending about what happened to Bam and stuff like that. So yeah, I really don't want to get into that. But uh, yeah, um, Great Pretender, B Stars, Keep Your Hands Off, God of High School, uh, Japan Sinks. Oh my goodness, like seriously, oh man. How come Japan Sinks did not did not win best score? I don't understand that. Because I've I've heard a lot of good things about Japan Sinks. I heard a lot of people were saying like you gotta go watch the anime. Like they said they said that like this anime was like very, very good to watch. So I mean, oh man. Oh man. I don't know what I, I I got to watch Japan Japan Sinks. I gotta watch that. I it's I know it's a national disaster anime or something like that, but I really want that. But like B Stars missed out on an opportunity not getting not getting best score. I mean I mean look at that look at the graphics of best look at the graphics of B Stars. The graphics of B Star the CGI it just looks like it feels so real. It really does. It just really did. I mean like the animation was definitely very, very good. But not only because of that, they won they won best opening sequence also as well too. And the reason why I did not review this anime because I'm not a furry kind of person. But I've heard some people say her her some some people say say that say that you you can't uh, you're I mean, you don't have to be a furry a furry person you know to watch watch talking to animals in an anime in an anime it's just it's just normal anime and stuff like that. And I've heard I heard a lot of good things a lot of good things about the anime, but I definitely want to check it out in the near future, and uh, I definitely do, um, definitely do. They also, um, uh, they also uh, got Keep Your Hands Off, Juicy Kaisen, Great Pretender, Kaigusawa's Levels of War, Season 2, and Haiku at the top. Uh, so yeah, um, I, I I would have to say, I would have to say like B-Stars, like I said before, I would have to say B-Stars, or uh, Kage-sama Love is War, either one of those two, or Jusen Kaisen. So, yeah. Okay, so best ending sequence, definitely. Jusen Kaisen dominated in, uh, they, they dominated, uh, for in best ending sequence. 
uh, they definitely did dominate really big time. And uh, so they got three awards, which congratulations, Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, wow. You know, a lot of people are really, really love this anime. Really do. Really do love it. Uh, runners up, uh, Great Pretender, Brand New Animal, Daro, Daro, uh, The Millionaire Detective, Balance Unlimited, and, and also Inner, inner Space, Inner Space. Inner, inner speech or inner space, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely do agree with um, yeah, Jesse Kaisen. Yeah, I definitely do agree with that one. They they deserve they deserve to win. Uh, best fantasy, yes, yes. I definitely do agree with this one. Definitely do agree with this one. Really, a whole whole lot. Uh, Re zero one, uh, best fantasy. I definitely do agree with that. Uh, it's just that what they did to this anime, it was just like. What in the world was happening? I'm serious. I'm not joking. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Um, there you also got Dragon's Quest of the Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai that that can uh dance. Uh Asc Ascendant of the Bookworm Part Two. Uh Dor I can't pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Tower of God and wow I I'm surprised Tower of God did not win that win did not win. I'm shocked that Tower of God did not win. Wow. Wow. So yeah, uh best comedy. Uh how many how much more I got more, more much more left? Okay. Okay, where is where am I at? Okay. Oh yeah, best comedy. Was well, Kagasa on level four. Uh keep your hands off. Uh keep your hands off. My life is my life is the next villain. Village villainous all routes lead to doom. Sleeping princess in the castle. Ko Ko two two. I I can't pronounce that. The misfit of the demon king academy. Uh, definitely yes. Kagasam did did win um, uh, best comedy. Uh, yeah, definitely definitely best comedy award. Definitely. Uh, so yeah. Uh, best drama. Yes, this is something I absolutely do agree with one hundred percent. Best. Drama Fruits Basket. I I seen some of season one. I see yeah I seen some some of season one, but I have to go rewatch it all over again. If I do have the time to, maybe I might get one. Maybe I might get done with one of these animes and then and then hop on and just watch Fruits Basket because I really want to watch Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket. If if you guys never seen the new Fruits Basket anime, you guys don't know what you guys are missing. You guys are missing out big time. It, it's just that this anime is just absolutely just beautiful. Um. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the runners, the runners up is Great Pretender, Japan Sink, Sinks 2020, Sing Me Yesterday, Sing Me Yesterday, B Stars, and some more, and some more, and the Fox, and the and the Forest Spirit. Wow, I'm shocked and surprised that the so Zamao, Zamao, and the Forest Spirit did not win, did not win, did not win for whatsoever at all. Wow, that's really is sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's really sad. I heard the anime is very, very sad from what I've heard. And yeah, definitely. I, I got to definitely do a live reaction of, the, of that anime. Okay, the uh, best protagonist. Best protagonist. My life as a villainous. My life as, as a villainous. All all routes lead to doom. Um, they, they're the ones that win. They're, they're the ones that win the best uh, protagonist. Uh, Here's the runner up uh, says Decade Dancing, Juicy Kaisen, The Misfit, The Misfit of the Demon King, Demon King Academy, and Haiku on, on to the top. Uh, was, yeah, uh, definitely. I definitely would say Haiku. Definitely would say Haiku or Juicy Kaisen. I definitely, definitely would say that. So, like, yeah, I, I'm quite shocked and surprised that my life as the next villain is all Ralph Lee to do won that, won that award. So, yeah, well, kudos for that. Uh, best antagonist. Juicy Kaisen is the one who's won who won um uh best antagonist and like wow. Uh they won uh the runners up like Duro and Andrew, Andrew Tower of God. I'm surprised Tower of God did not win like Rachel. Like Rachel, like seriously, she's the biggest two faced person from what I've heard about what she did. What she did to Bam. I'm not gonna go in the spoilers, but what she did to Bam was just scummy. I'm serious. That girl just, I don't know. She's going to get what's coming to her sometimes. I, I hope she does. But anyways, I'm just saying, 
<laughs> That's all I'm just saying. Uh, fruit Spaggots. Wow. I'm surprised Fruit, fruit Spaggots did not win. I'm surprised. ReZero did not win. I'm even surprised My Hero Academia did not win. Wow. I mean, like, Tower God, I would agree with. Fruit Spaggots, I would agree with. ReZero, I would agree with. My Hero Academia, I would agree with. But just a Kaisen, but, you know, that's just over my opinion, but, oh, oh well. Also, uh, the anime of the year. This is the one I want to talk about the most. Okay. I know there should have been more, some, some more other different anime should have been up for the lineup for, for the, for the anime year. To be honest with you, this is just my opinion. I believe Beastars should have won this. That's just my opinion. Or keep your hands off. Or keep your hands off. Uh, either one of those two. Uh, the other the, the other ones I just don't care for. Congratulations to Jesus Kaisen uh, winning the Anime of the Year Award 2021. But yeah, so yeah. Um, how long is this video going on for? Okay. Okay. All right. What's this? Uh, all right. But uh, anyways, that's the end of my uh, my review for it. Uh, my review for it and so so yeah i definitely will be doing uh i definitely will have this video of sometime of, of uh sometime very soon i don't know when but uh yeah i hope you guys do like this video hope you guys do and anyways i should be uploading this video sometime sometime in the morning time or or tomorrow because i'm starting to get tired and stuff so yeah but uh anyways this is i know x anyways i'll see you guys later take care i hope you guys have a day Take care. God bless. Remember, just love you. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Like button. Give me a thumbs up. And hit that notification bell also too. And please leave your comments down below. As long as you just be respectful down in the comments down below. So anyways, I'll see you guys there. Take care. And I hope you guys have a day. I'll see you guys there. Take care. God bless. Remember, Jesus love you. I love you guys. Remember, stay blessed. And stay aware for all this craziness around the world. I'll see you guys there. Take care. Bye.